Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna to talk about the graphics in Revit. Specifically we will talk about the graphic control tools in Revit and which is more dominant while using your project. As you know, in Revit we have the five different types of the manipulating with your graphics. We're talking about the main one. So the first one, we will start from the first one. This is your default settings. So you're opening your project, let's say the template you're using the, from the Autodesk, and you have default settings with your graphics. So you're not changing anything, you can see your object as it is. So default settings, it also means your materials. For example, here you have the, you can see the my wall. I can go inside to the wall and you can change, for example, the material of this wall. You can see it here, the structure and material. We already have the, some materials uh, in our template, but for example, I want to change it. As you can see here, let's say, let's use the wo uh, wood shake. Why not? Uh, if you will go to the graphic to the graphics you will see the color uh, it's different and also we have the some pattern so why once i will apply this material we will see this pattern and it will be black one so let's say okay let's say okay again here and let's say okay here and as you can see now its graphic was changed now i have this pattern here again i can go inside to the my edit graphics for waste the my material edit here is the my material and let's change the for example uh, the black one to the I don't know let's say the this one something like orange let's say okay let's say okay one more time and now it will be orange as you can see so this is I mean the first level of the graphic it's by let's say by default it will be easiest for uh, to, to us to understand how we can manipulate with graphics so also you can go to, easily to the material just go to the material and change it here so this is it's actually it will be same because here I'm going from the my element to the material here we're going directly to the material as you can see the first level graphics we know how to change this is lowest one by pressure and i will show you now the second one the second tool this is our visual graphic so again you can use the visual graphic from the view you can go to the view and after i mean the visibility graphics and go here you can do it like this uh, actually this is settings for your view for this view actually if you will go here to the wall you will find here the category wall um, one thing it will be change all walls uh, graphic you should don't don't forget about that but anyway so and i will say i want to change my pattern let's say and its pattern should be be uh, i don't know maybe the aluminium one and i want to make it a uh, red one why not and uh, also I want to have the, some pattern, let's say it will be um, solid fill and uh, um, let's do the gray. Let's say okay, let's say okay and let's change it. And as you can see it's overriding. So this is much more powerful than previous tool. So default one it means uh, if you, you, you're still going to the material and change your material, here we not, it doesn't happen anything. Because here the visibility graphic settings, visibility graphic settings, it's more power than previous one. Now it's become more interesting because, as you can see, I'm using the still same project, and what which tool will be more powerful than visual graphic? Yeah, this will be actually template. We will go to the view, and here you will find the templates. Let my I will use the templates and here as you can see let me use the architecture one and we have already some presets here but we can also create our own but uh, we should have the some 3D view I don't have it right now let's copy or let's create the new 3D view I will just copy this one I will copy it and I will call it test why not it will be test like this and as you can see he has a lot of different uh, checkboxes included so I will uncheck every thing because I don't need it right now let me I will uncheck give me a second few more and we will done so we done now I will using the test one and say okay and doesn't happen anything as you can see why because actually we are using the template yes on this view right but we not overwrite any graphics here as you can see override model it's uncheck here I will check it I will go to the 
Uh, not I will not. Uh, yes, I will go with. <laughs> Sorry, I will go here inside and I will find my window or oh, win walls, and I will override it. For example, let me I will make it solid one and red one. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. And here okay to any one more time okay. And as you can see now, all the my walls it's red. Uh, and as you can see, this tool, I mean the view template, it's much higher the powerful than previous one. Why it really matter for us? Because if the your views, for example, you have the big project, uh, have the, for example, the manual visual graphics, visibility graphics uh, on the view, you can easily create the template, visible, uh, I mean the view template, and apply on different view. And doesn't matter what you what, what's the type of the visibility graphics you have there. If you are using the template, it will be override uh, everything what you have on the view. So don't forget about it. It's a really powerful thing. Now let's talk about another type of the tool. So this is tool actually called the filter. Yes, filter is more powerful than uh, previous one. So how we can use the filters? Uh, let me I will go for example to the filters. Here you can find it uh, under the view. And we can create the new filter. As you can see in this template I have a lot of different uh, filters but I need a new one. And let's call it the wall uh, test. Again, I will use the test everywhere and you will be easily understand so this is not uh, not from the template. So here the walls as you can see I'm using the category and let me create some parameter. So you can use any actually parameter but I will use for example the volume and I will say this is has the volume. So if we have the volume it means we have the wall. Uh, so we not will di uh, divide it by different types or something like that. I wanna use for the whole the walls which is I have in project. So we yes, say OK and after that we need go to the visibility graphics or the template doesn't matter so I will use the visibility graphics uh, let's add here and let's add the well wall test here and as you can see we have here the own parameters of the patterns and let's make the our uh, wall now yeah let's say yellow yellow color yeah let's say okay let's say okay and let's say okay one more time and as you can see now it's become the yellow color why it's still using the our as you can see view template but our filter it's much powerful than the view template instead if you will use for example the template and you will click here with the filters override filters and of course it will uh, have the previous color Actually, it means no any filters. But if you will do it like this, go to the edit graphics, and uh, as you can see here, the visibility, and you will change it here, it, it will change the color again. So the filters it's much more powerful than uh, the model category when you ch choose changing the color in model category. So let's use like that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't change it. Sorry. So yeah, 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 it, everything work, and as you can see, visibility, yes. So it's my mistake, and uh, it's still not working. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's not working because I'm using the for the uh, views. So my mistake. Sorry, guys. View view walls. I'm thinking why it's not working. Actually, because I choose the wrong filter. So and let's say okay, let's say okay, and let's say okay. So and now it's changing. As you can see, this is a really powerful thing. So and uh, now we will talk about the top one. And the last thing. You already know what I'm talking about it, right click and you will find override graphics by element. And for example I'm changing it to the green one. Or can you change to any color. And as you can see it's changing and even filter, view template, even the default graphics cannot override this or override graphics. So be careful with this tool because this tool can uh, make some noisy for you. Uh, for example, you're already under the finish, you're changing your view template and someone in your colleague, maybe you did this thing like override graphic for the one element and you not will find it from, from the default uh, Revit tools. You should use the, some scripting from the Python or you should use the Dynamo to find this element. Or yes, you can easily create the new view. But if your view is already on, on the sh your sheet, 
So, and you already under the finish to, for example, print your sheet. So, I, as you understand, it will be uh, hard to create the new view. You will spend a lot of the time. Be careful with this tool. Sometimes you should use this tool. It's true. It's, yeah, it, you, you cannot just say don't use it because uh, on the some of the cases you should use it. So that's it. It was tutorial about the uh, Revit graphic tools and now I think you know a little bit more uh, about the Revit tools, I mean the default Revit tools and how they are working with each other. If this tutorial was really useful for you, don't forget about like and comments uh, and share this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.